Hello, I am Robert Waddy and I write Astronomy to GCSE and today I've been making a Rubens tube. This is because a few of my friends and I are doing a science morning for a primary school that is near my school. And I decided uh, as my experiment that I would show them or demonstration would be the Rubens tube. Now the Rubens tube is a standing wave flame tube. It was a um, it's basically a tube which has holes in, and very little holes, every, um, every two centimetres. And we pass gas in one end and have a speaker in the other. And the speaker creates a pressure wave which affects the flow rate of the gas. And this changes the heights of the flames. So it's a really good graphical visualisation of, um, of your wave. And I thought it would be nice to show them that. So I'm going to show you what we, uh, what we came up with this afternoon. This is an old steel tube that started life as a lamp stand and is now a fully operational Rubens tube. We started by drilling two mil holes that were uh, one centimetre apart, but we found that that was a bit close and the flames touched each other. So we uh, sealed that with solder and then, in fact, we sealed all of the holes with solder because we found that two mil was a little bit too wide and we re-drilled holes with one mil. That was actually quite handy because one mil drill would have probably broken when drilling through the pipe. So we uh, we carry on with holes all the way up until about halfway, where the tube actually uh, screws together, so you can unscrew it. Uh, and we don't continue further than that um, because we found that when uh, the end, that when the final flame was close to the uh, speaker, we were getting a little bit of the um, rubber was uh, catching fire. So we've uh, used the entire length and then we have a speaker in here which was part of a main speaker but we, um, we dismantled that and took the speaker straight out and put it into a milk bottle and have um, taped it up and sealed it. Um, the, hopefully because this is airtight the end of this should all be air um, because the gas won't be able to displace it. We, uh, we've then uh, attached the speaker to an amplifier and then have our Jean-Michel Jarre CD to play our music. 